Hey y'all, um, I'm here to show you how to overcome the problem of converting a coaster brake to a fixed gear. Not a, not a, fr a free spinning, but a fixed gear. So you could pedal forwards and backwards. Show you what the, kind of how these things work and what you have to do to, uh, overcome this to have something you can go forward and backwards with. I'm using this. I'm making a target retrieval system and I needed something that would gear forward and backwards. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. But before I get started, I got this thing cleaned up. What I use is super clean and super clean reached out to me again, said, would you like to offer some of your viewers uh, free samples and what you can receive is a 32 ounce spray and a uh, 17 ounce aerosol of their popular product. I use it on lots of my projects. I use it on this to clean this hub out. I've already taken it apart and cleaned it up and this is what I used. So if you would like to receive this just post in the comments that you would like to be a winner and uh, we will randomly draw a name and you will be put in touch with Super Clean if you are chosen and they will ship these to you absolutely free. So something to consider. I appreciate them reaching out. Now back to our project. This is a coaster brake on a bike. And how this works, it'll, there's a camming system inside here. You see how this moves a little bit. It's like off and on, off and on. So as you're pedaling, get on this side like we were on a bicycle. As you're pedaling, boom, boom, boom. You can take your feet off. It'll coast. Yay. And then you got to stop. Boom. Locks everything up. It uses the axle and this of camming mechanism together to create, um, to uh, make that happen, help that happen. What we need to do is to eliminate that. And we need this gear to become fixed on the hub so we can drive it forward and we can drive it backwards. There is no free spinning. So let's, let's show you how to do that. First, we've got to take off or take it apart. And I'll show you the parts that we are no longer gonna use after we get it apart. Again, this is gonna come off easily because I've recently had it all apart so I could get it cleaned up to see how this thing worked. And I decided to get all the grease out because I got tired of getting it all over my hands. Okay, we will not be using this. We will be keeping these. We will be keeping this dust cap. Now you will need to put a wrench either here or here and unscrew this. Again, I've had it apart, so mine is finger tight. So I should be able to just undo it. And all mine is coming apart from this side right here. See what I'm doing? I'm just holding that, spinning it free. And after we get far enough out, you can just push that forward and just spin this loose. I said, we will be using this again and we will be using this again. We will not be using these. Turn over here. We can just pull our axle out now. And you have to finish spinning it clockwise so it unscrews from that cam inside. We will be using this. Take these out. We will not be using these. And then the locking mechanism. Okay? All right. So, what we want is for this to lock to the hub. The reason we don't want to use these bearings anymore, we do not want this to spin on here. 
when it is screwed down to it using this, we want it to stay locked down. Now, what I'm gonna use to help ensure that once I put it on here, it doesn't move, and I put some on the threads, is I'm gonna put some epoxy in there so everything will lock up. So let me get some epoxy mixed up and we'll get this stuff installed. One other thing, if you don't, you don't need it, so you can pop this little spring and cam uh, indicator out. There's a little washer in there. You don't need any of that, so you, you can get rid of all of that. Um, or you can leave that little washer in there. It helps guide this when we put it back in. Your choice, not a problem, one way or the other. Okay, I've got my epoxy mixed up. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little on here so it will accept the hub or the, the, the gear and help it not to come off. You could weld this. Not everybody's got a welder. And like I said, I probably don't even need to do this because I'm not putting a lot of tension on this when I use it. Okay, so now we can put... The other thing I'm going to do huh, is on my threads, since I'm not wanting this to move, I'm going to go ahead and put some epoxy on these threads. So once I put this thing on, it's not going to be coming back off. It's called commitment. There we go. Now, we're going to drop this in there. Then we're going to come with our piece here. Drop it in. And then just use that to screw it down. It's going to tighten up. There we go. Okay, it's tight and it's not going anywhere. Again, we're keeping that bearing. What you need to do, what I'm gonna stop right now and go ahead and do, I gotta get some grease, grease this up. Back with the grease. Again, because we want our bearings that we are using to move freely. We wanna make sure that they are packed with grease. There we go, put them back in. Now, we can run this through. So our little washer fell out. Again, we don't need that. We really don't. Now, we do need the washers on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease them up. Get all that stuff packed down in there. Like you, if you're doing this, you probably didn't take all the grease out. I did. I cleaned it. So I had to play this for a while so I could understand how it was working. And I just got tired of having my hands coated with grease. There we go. So, drop that in there. My hands are wiped off a little bit. Now, we're just gonna tighten this back down. This geared side being locked and this having the free spin, or the spinning ability, the bearings, what's gonna allow us to go in both directions. 
It's only going to go down so far and lock up. Once it gets in the little camphered area of this, there. You don't need to get it extremely tight because you do want it to spin. There we go. Forward and backward and that locked up. Now, we can put our dust cap back on here. And then something that I made that is not necessary, but I just wanted to completely, you see they got a little, this is raised up about, well, a little less than an eighth of an inch. I just got a thick washer and cut that out so I could put it over it. So I'm just not pressing against that, okay? Then I put original washer back on and the nut that locked the coaster brake on. Now, we'll want to hold this other side and tighten this up very well. Now, we've got a fixed gear bike that will go both ways without this thing unscrewing inside or camming over to lock up. That's all there is to it. Well, I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, feel free to share it with your friends. If there's anything that uh, you see that I did that may not be just right, please let me know. Again, as usual, I appreciate, appreciate y'all stopping by and good luck with your projects.